All right, uh, let's look at the homework 4.4, uh, problem number seven. All right, so let's find this uh, uh, these uh, compositions of two functions. All right, so first uh, we're gonna plug uh, g of x into uh, uh, f of x. All right, so let's do that. So you have uh, e, so I put e here, and then we see x. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put uh, g of x in there. So you have a natural log of um, x plus 2, right? Then you have at the end, you're going to have a minus 2, right? But uh, see, uh, there is an exponential function and a log function that compose together. Since they are inverses of each other, they cancel out. So that will leave you with um, just uh, x plus 2, right? But uh, x plus 2 minus 2, again, uh, 2 cancel out. So you just get x, all right? All right, let's do uh, uh, g of f of x, all right? So that's the other way around. So we're going to plug in uh, e, uh, f of x into uh, g of x function. So we have a natural log of, right? Then we have, uh, let's say x is now e to the x uh, minus 2. But you have to add 2 to it. Then... Uh, if you look at it, um, you have a positive 2 and negative 2 cancel out. And the e to the x, uh, natural log of x, uh, again, you have exponential function and log function composed together. They cancel out. So what happens is you are left with uh, just just x. All right. So let's check the answer. Submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got the, these formulas correctly and the graphs. All right, so let's look at the f of x e to the x minus two. All right, so it's going to go through. Uh, so original e to the x uh, go through um, uh, positive one, by subtracting it, it's going to go through negative one. So it looks like uh, this is a promising picture here. All right, uh, this one isn't uh, here, this one isn't, and this is uh, promising here. All right, so you have uh, f of x, actually, uh, oh, actually the red one is going through here. So uh, this is the only reasonable picture, and if you look at the g of x, g of x is uh, its inverse, so you can see the symmetry about the 45 degree line, y equals x, so this must be the correct answer. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, I came back and looks like we got the, the graphs correctly as well. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.